Hey, hello friends. Today I'm going to talk about being an entrepreneur. Insights from Plywell's co-founders. What can we encounter in our entrepreneurial journey in the 21st century? Today I will give some examples for this question through a podcast which I conducted with Asina. She is a co-founder of the Plavel application. I made a, a podcast with her. And if you would like to also listen to uh, the podcast, I will share it with you the link and you can easily listen it. Okay, so let's start. So, our first subtitle is The Power of Wish From Problems to Opportunities When do we use the word I wish? Recall the times you have used the phrase I wish. You'll notice that we usually use this phrase when faced with a problem, an issue or regret. However, the word wish can also be thought of a passive word that reflects the desire to approach negative situation with a positive perspective and seek solution. Entrepreneurship is just about understanding this power of wishes and turning problems into opportunities. Entrepreneurs fall in love with the problems they encounter and seek creative solutions to solve them. The key is to identify these problems and find solutions because a successful venture provides its audience with a valuable solution to their needs. As discussed in the podcast, Sinem encounters a problem while traveling with her co-founders and by using the phrase, I wish, she identifies a problem. Recognizing this problem emerges as one of the first steps in the process of starting this application. Furthermore, identifying this problem is crucial because uh, 42% of startups fail due to the market not needing their product. This highlights the importance of startups finding the real problems. Second subtitle is Approaching Perfection. Can we be perfect? Can we be a perfect? I don't know. Can we be perfect? Okay. For me, what matters is starting with what we have and continuing from there. We can get lost when we focus too much on details, which can prolong the process. However, starting with the, uh, what we have is an important step. Sometimes a perfectionist attitude can be a big obstacle in the beginning. Being aware of this attitude, we can try to give it up so that it does not prevent us from getting started. Because in reality, our initial production is our experience that brings us closer to perfection. CNAM also emphasizes the concept of MVP, Minimum Viable Product, in the podcast which is a crucial concept to consider in the entrepreneurial journey. MVP is a version of a product with the minimum effort and features that quickly gather feedback from its target audience and understand if there is a need for the product in the market. In short, it is important to aim for approaching perfection for while showcasing the basic working version of the product using the available resources. Waiting for the perfection at the beginning can prolong the MVP stage. And prolonging the MVP stage means not having any knowledge about product market fit. The other subtitle is Customer-Centric Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurs hear many voices on their entrepreneurial journey. Mentors, guidance and investors. Ideas can provide significant support. However, it should not be forgotten that these pieces of advice should not surpass, surpass customer demands. As mentioned in the podcast, ultimately the user of the product are the customers, not mentors, investors or others. Therefore, 
Focusing on the customer and finding solutions to their expectations and needs is an integral part of 21st century entrepreneurship. Finally, in this podcast, we examine the issues we may encounter in 21st century entrepreneurship. In short, an entrepreneur primarily focuses on the problem and with the resources at hand, strives to create a useful product as quickly as possible to solve the identified problem. In this process, diversity within the team and customer focus are valued. This approach, this approach enables entrepreneurs to take the right steps towards success and is necessary for them to survive in a competitive market so thank you for listening i hope you got idea and you got some information and i hope you enjoyed while you are listening to me and i hope my english is okay (laughs) so yeah that was it and i uh, i think it was very cool uh, podcast for me i hope it was Uh, like uh, it was the same for you and yeah thank you again have a good day goodbye